Hello, everyone. Greetings from Buenos Aires. I uh, just checked into a beautiful hotel here in Palermo and uh, wanted to do a quick demo to show you how to generate leads with a Chrome extension. Uh, it's called Hunter.io. Some of you have probably already heard of it. So this is the website. You go here. It's a Chrome extension that you can download or you can use this website to type in an email address. For example, this is where I'm staying right now here in Buenos Aires. So you just enter the email address and it will bring up all the emails associated with that particular hotel in this case. You can use this for anything. Um, let's say you want to find the email addresses of uh, this is for this website, austin360.com. Uh, so you bring this up and it will show you all the email addresses. All you have to do is click and it copies the email. Um, so for example, this is a free tool to use, uh, but it will only allow up to 100 contacts until you upgrade. But for me, that's just fine. So let's open another browser, go to Google and search for uh, hotels in Buenos Aires. This is how I'm building an email list. Uh, let me just show you real quick. This is the email list I have here in uh, Google Sheets. It includes all the email addresses of luxury hotels in Buenos Aires. So as you can see, I have quite a few right here. And I simply put this into MailChimp, create a new list, import it to MailChimp, and blast out an email to everyone and then get in touch with the hotel manager. So that's how I'm able to stay at luxury hotels for free. Uh, so anyway, let's go to Google and search for luxury hotels. Looks like we have quite a few options here, 1,200. So let's click here. Ah, so now let's dive in. We've got Bristol Hotel. This is right in the center square. This is a, looks like a pretty nice hotel. The pictures are decent. It definitely needs some more, some more professional photos, though, which is where I come in. This is a hostel, so this wouldn't be a good choice. A thousand pesos is about roughly thirty dollars. Here's another one. Yeah, I think this would be a good option. This particular hotel is actually a chain, so it would probably be more competitive. But yeah, let's just click on this hotel and see what, what pops up. So you, you're taken to this page. Looks like they have some pretty nice photos already, but it's possible they, they need help with marketing or, or that sort of stuff. So let's click on their website. Website's loading. Okay, so for this particular case, um, this is like a custom designed site. And unfortunately, it's not possible to find the email address. Unless, in which case, you would probably look through the website, maybe search for contact. Ah, so here's the email. They have their WhatsApp phone number right here. Contact email. Lead generation is kind of tedious sometimes, but um, it's definitely necessary if you want to build a profitable business. I'm staying at hotels for free in exchange for photos and then offering, I would like to offer them a social media package, which is like an add-on, ah, which I would charge them for, and also for editing as well. So yeah, in this case, it's not really easy to find their email address. So let's go back here. This one's sort of a mid-range hotel, 2,000 pesos is about, I don't know, $60 a night, roughly. And you can do this anywhere in the world. It doesn't, this, I'm just focused on Buenos Aires right now because it's where I'm living. Ah, the Hilton. The Hilton is a beautiful hotel, but of course, they already have professional photos. Oh, wow. I went into this hotel um, a couple, last week, and just walked around to inspire myself. Check this out. Uh, it's such a beautiful hotel. This is the pool. 
but as you can see they already have professional photos including some beautiful aerial photos as well so they probably wouldn't be a good fit for my services this hotel is absolutely beautiful <laughs> obviously way out of my price range it's 10,000 pesos per night which is ridiculous but a man can dream a man can dream so yeah that probably wouldn't be a good fit let's keep scrolling through this is a really nice hotel in Buenos Aires as well but once again the photos are very professional however it's also possible that they need help with social media marketing so let's take a look let's bring up Instagram real quick that's the Hotel Panamericano oh, here's my Instagram by the way I have about 10,000 followers and uh, I've mostly been posting photos from this is from Chile Chile through the hotel I stayed at in uh, Valparaiso for three nights with my girlfriend. Here's my girlfriend, Sophia. And yeah, that's not important right now though. Let's see, Hotel Panamericano. And how do I spell Panamericano? Ah. So it looks like they don't seem to have an Instagram account for some reason. But anyway, I don't want to get sidetracked. Let's see. Yeah, that's some beautiful photos. Let me find one that would be a better fit, though. This one looks really nice. It's like a palace, almost. Let's check this out. Website. Come on. Ah, okay. So you can see the icon light up right here. So let's click. Find email addresses. The website's still loading, but we can click right now. All right, so here's all the email addresses for this particular hotel. This is uh, the generic support email, uh, and then this is the one for reservations. So I'll typically, uh, this one has 20 sources. So that says that most of the websites include this particular email address, and it's valid, which you can see here. The confidence score is 94%. Um, so yeah, these two would be a good option. So we just copy the email address, go over to Google Sheets or Excel, whatever you're using. And in this particular case, you should already have that email address. I'm not sure. Hotel Carson. No, I don't have it. So let's add this one to the list. I'm surprised. <laughs> So if anyone needs help with lead generation or or they want the list of emails that I have, um, I also offer that service as well. And I would like to find a freelancer that can do this for me because it takes it's very time consuming and I obviously have more important things to do. But you know, I enjoy it. I misspelled it. The two S is one R. There we go. So now I've added this one to the list. Yep. Excellent. I'm up to about 150 email addresses, and this is just in Buenos Aires. I have email lists in Peru, Ecuador, uh, Chile as well. Great. Let's take a look at some of these photos. Looks like a beautiful hotel. Wow. We just checked into a place uh, here in Palermo in Buenos Aires, and they have a pool, uh, a spa, Thai massage, a um, bunch of stuff. It's a beautiful hotel, and we're staying here for three nights. I'm just helping with photos and influencer marketing. Living the dream. Um, but let's see, Malaya, do I have this one yet? Malaya. Yes, so that's one that's already in my list. This is probably a hotel manager, someone in charge. Let's just take a look real quick. So typically I'll send an email in MailChimp, which is um, this tool right here. There's a lot of different options to choose from, but I really like this one. 
Uh, it's easy to use, and it allows up to 2,500 subscribers for the, the free package. So I just sent uh, an email to a bunch of hotels in Mar del Plata earlier today. This is uh, it's about eight hours from Buenos Aires, really beautiful. Uh, let me just show you a picture of the place real quick. I'd love to just go there for the weekend and stay for a few nights. And yeah, this place right here, Mar del Plata. It looks beautiful. It's one of the places I haven't been to in Argentina yet. Uh, very cool. You got to stay inspired, people. Stay inspired. You can do anything you set your mind to. All right, so here's my email script, which is something that um, I would be willing to let you have for free if you're interested. But anyway, let's go to the report. And it's a pretty small email list, only about 50 recipients. So far, the open rate is 26%. Nobody clicked on a link, only 0%, which is pretty unusual. Usually, they'll someone will click on a link. But yeah, here's the, the people, subscribers that opened the email. Um, obviously, most of them are in Argentina. These are just some demographics. And let's see, anything else? 17 people open the email. Let me go to one of my uh, other campaigns, though. By the way, if anyone needs help with email marketing, let me know, because this is something that I have a lot of experience with. As you can see, um, here's Buenos Aires Hotels. This one had a 41% open rate, which is pretty good. 9% click-through. A lot of people will probably find this pretty boring, but I enjoy it. I just like looking at the numbers and uh, so yeah, most of the people, 9% clicked on a link, mostly my Instagram. So let's go to my Instagram real quick. I just did a quick little story here for a uh, home hotel. This is where I'm staying right now. This is one of my uh, favorite photos that I've taken. I actually submitted this to National Geographic and tagged them in the post, of course. This was uh, in San Telmo. It's close to downtown, and I was really inspired to take this photo because it shows, you know, that sometimes you really have to struggle in life, but, you know, hard work pays off. I don't know. I just really like this photo. Here's a few from a hotel I was staying at in Valparaiso. I helped them. I actually got paid for this one, too, because I sent them all the photos and, and edited them as well. There's my girlfriend, Sophia. She's pretty special. I met her in Mendoza, and we've been together for five months now. Uh, they had a really, really great continental breakfast there, and the brownies were delicious. Let's see what else do I have. This is Valparaiso. It's um, on the coast in Chile. I've traveled through South America for just over a year now, and I'm uh, currently living in Buenos Aires. Here's another photo. This is from uh, Pucón at a national park. I hiked this volcano, which took about, it was about eight hours. One of the most difficult hikes of my life. Uh, let's see. This is Torres del Paine. That was my destination. It took me about a year to reach the place, but I finally made it. Anyway, don't want to get distracted. <laughs> Let me show you something else too, real quick. Uh, this is my LinkedIn. I use LinkedIn all the time. I'm I'm always growing my professional network. I actually just connected with this woman, uh, Lisa. We're friends on Facebook. So let me show you how to do lead generation on LinkedIn, real quick. By the way, if you don't already have a LinkedIn account, you're missing out on the largest B two B network online in the world. So it's a huge opportunity. Let's see. I always send messages to everyone that I connect with. So we'd love to connect on LinkedIn too. Look me up. This is Neil Patel. He's the, one of the top SEO guys in the world. Um, but you can only, anyway, 
there's a, a Chrome extension for LinkedIn as well. It's called Duck Soup. So you go to your your search for second degree connections, and then start running the robot. And it, so it just visited Neil Patel's profile. This guy. Unfortunately, I can't connect with him because he's way too famous. <laughs> So you can only follow him. I think he has like a million followers. But um, these other people, this guy I have 86 mutual connections with, Taylor Ring. He's a, based in Austin, Texas. Most of these people are in Austin, Texas because the algorithm finds people with uh, the most number of mutual connections with similar interests. So as you can see, the robot is just going through and visiting the profiles of these people. So um, you may be wondering why that's important, and I'll show you in a minute. This guy looks interesting, Colin Gunn. So I have over 4,000 connections on LinkedIn, and I'm always sending messages to people, but I'm still struggling to find consistent paying clients for some reason I think my messaging needs work but um, anyway that's beside the point right now this guy looks interesting he has a accelerator for digital agencies high-tech brands and his cover photo is a picture of a drone so looks like a cool guy based in Austin Texas so I'm just going to go ahead and send this guy a, a, a connection request. I'll usually just say something simple like, I would like to add you to my professional network. Uh, we have quite a few mutual connections. Um, I'm a digital marketer and travel photographer. Look forward to connecting with you. Sincerely, Mike Hope. Real simple. So I'm going to send that invite right now. And we're off to the races. So as soon as he connects with me, I'll send him a message. Just to, um, most people don't do this. So I'm definitely in like the top, top 2% there. So anyway, we can uh, go ahead and keep running this robot. So far, I've visited 350 profiles. It skips these guys because we've already visited their profile. And the reason this is important is because if I go to my profile, hang on, go away. <laughs> okay, let me go to my profile. This is something I can help people with too, is, is uh, keyword optimization. And the headline is super important. So for me, it, dis it says exactly what I do, digital nomad and travel photographer. And I made sure to say seeking new exciting job opportunities so people know that I'm interested in working with them. And uh, you know, this is uh, just my description, I'm a from Austin, Texas, living in Buenos Aires, traveling to South America for over a year, blah, blah, blah. Here's my website. Let me know if I can help you build a sales funnel for your online business. So scrolling through, let me show you this too. I have, um, these are the endorsements. So as you can see, most of these I'm maxed out on. So whenever I connect with someone, I'll endorse them for the top three skills and then ask them to return the favor. And usually they reciprocate. This is my photography business. So here you can see who's viewed your profile. And if you have a premium account, it'll actually show you everyone. You can look at their profile, but the premium account's like $70 a month, which I really can't afford right now. But it, it has some interesting features. Anyway, so 500 people have viewed my profile. It's up 40%. And one of the reasons is because I'm using this uh, extension to visit people's profiles. And they can see right here 
who visited their profile. So they'll, they'll click and, and learn more about me. So that's one of the reasons it's interesting. Um, yeah, if I go to messages, here's a guy that I recently uh, connected with here in Buenos Aires. He's going to help me find a freelancer to, uh, for lead generation. So that could be interesting. And uh, let me show you a message. I have so many connections on LinkedIn, and I'm just not sure what to do with all of them. <laughs> Here's a guy. I'll typically set up like a phone call with someone. Thanks for connecting. Hope all is well. I'm a digital marketer, currently looking for more remote clients. I have user experience with lead generation, blah, blah, blah. How, this is the most important line. How can we help each other succeed? So it's not all about me. I want to help. It's a, it's a mutually beneficial thing. Check out my online portfolio. Look forward to hearing from you. Real simple. Straight and to the point. So I actually set up a phone call with this guy. And uh, we'll, we'll chat later today on Skype. Oh, here's Frank Kern. He's one of the top digital marketers in the world. And he asked, how, how can I add, run Facebook ads for you? So I'm really glad to connect with this guy. Of course, I don't really have a budget to hire him for Facebook ads right now. He probably charges like $10,000 a month or something ridiculous. But, you know, it's good to be connected with them if, uh, once my circumstances change. And uh, I'm looking for investors and mentors as well, if anyone's interested in helping me, because right now I'm really struggling with the financial part. But I have all the connections. Anyway, let's get back to, um, and, you know, I'd be happy to introduce you to anyone as well. So let me know. I'm just curious. Let's look up uh, hotels in Austin. USA. That's a little bit too broad. Um, I obviously would rather just search for Austin hotels. Okay. 360 hotels. Let's check this out. I would like to come back to Austin sometime soon, although I can't afford a flight right now. Um, actually curious how much flights are. Um, and my girlfriend is starting at university. She has a scholarship to study at the University of Buenos Aires. And I would like to stay with her, obviously. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what to do. But anyway, I'm just curious. I want to look up how much flights are back to Austin, one way, Buenos Aires, all airports to Austin. This isn't really relevant to what I'm talking about, but um, let's see. This looks like a April 30th is a good price. Hope everyone's having a great day and uh, you're enjoying the video so far. I think I'm going to start doing more of these screen shares. I don't really like recording my face. I'd rather just do these instead. So keep you posted. Oh my God, it's so expensive. That's 54,000 pesos. 35,000, that's better. Only two stops, one layover. Still really expensive now. I don't have that kind of money. 35,000 divided by 45. What is that? That's oh, not too bad. $800. Hopefully my circumstances will change soon. All I need is one client. One client out of 4,100 clients paying me $3,000 a month or something to run Facebook ads. And I send these people messages, but I don't know, it's just overwhelming, to be honest. 
Um, but yeah, so eight hundred dollars to go back to Austin. Oh, this is a really nice hotel. Three thousand pesos a night. Looks like the hotel. Looks like the photos are already very professional. Ooh, that is beautiful. I would love to stay here. Of course. Eh, the hotel room's not so great. Yeah. So this is this is a, a really, really great tool you can use for lead generation. Um, obviously, there's a lot of other options out there, but this is the one that I use all the time. Let's just check out Austin, the W. Now, the W is a chain, so it would be pretty competitive, but let's just uh, take a look. So, as you can see, here's all the hotels. Most of them are... Oh, no, no, I'm on the web. I'm not on the website. Let's go to the website real quick. It should pull up a list of hotel managers, uh, community support. I really need to get some food pretty soon. I'm starving. I haven't really eaten anything all day. Whew. Hope everyone's having a great day, and uh, definitely stay in touch. I'd love to hear from you guys and uh, set up a phone call sometime. I actually know a guy. Uh, his name's Zach Benson. Uh, he's traveling around the world and staying at hotels for free. I'm just going to post a, a link to his profile real quick. Yeah, Zach Benson. Check him out. He's a really inspiring guy. Uh, let me just bring up his profile real quick. I heard him on a, a podcast, and then I connected with him straight away. Sent him an email, and uh, would love to work together. He's in Indonesia, so um, but yeah, he travels to stays at some of the nicest hotels in the world for free. And he's basically doing the same thing. He hires photographers and offers social media packages. Looks like he's in Nicaragua now. But anyway, it's a good guy to, to connect with if you're interested in this sort of thing. Happy to make any introductions, too. But yeah, let's go back to the W. Yeah, so I guess it's part of Marriott. Own by the umbrella company is Marriott. So they have a, a huge list of emails. Most of these people would be in charge, like here's a general manager, so this would be a good person to get in contact with. Um, but mostly you're looking for people with sources, like 20 plus. But you know, all of, as you can see, all of these are verified. So they're valid email addresses. Um, but yeah, if you want, it's only good for 100 requests per, per month. And then if you exceed that quota, then you have to upgrade to the, the paid version. But yeah, how much is it? $34 a month. That's good for 1,000 requests. And um, I'm actually looking for someone um, to hire. I'd like to hire a freelancer. Um, you know, there's a lot of... A lot of websites out there to do this, like um, Upwork is one where you can find cheap freelancers. But the problem there is that there's a lot of turnover. Um, and I've actually created an account on this website, too, to offer my services. But I don't know. It's kind of bottom of the barrel stuff. I'd rather just focus on my core business right now. So if anyone's interested in um, helping build these email lists, please let me know. I'll probably, I would probably pay about $10 an hour if you're interested. And uh, let me just show you real quick. Thankfully, my computer works again. My Wi-Fi um, was broken for a long time, and I was able to fix it. And I put a solid-state hard drive in my computer, too, so it's way faster now. 
But anyway, here's, I was building an email list of yoga studios. Um, here's my list of uh, LinkedIn connections. Unfortunately, they don't, they don't export uh, email addresses anymore. But yeah, I have, you can use LinkedIn for email marketing as well. Basically just blast out an email to all your connections and let them know what you're up to. Let's see. But yeah, uh, so I have email lists of hotels in different parts of Argentina, um, real estate in Austin, if anyone needs uh, real estate Oh, that's not right. Actually, so here's a house I was looking at in Austin just for the hell of it. Uh, unfortunately, you know, it's way out of my price range, $500,000, and my credit score is absolutely terrible, so I wouldn't be able to get a mortgage. But, yeah, it's just fun to look at. Here's the, the real estate agent. Her name's Crystal Olenbush. Um, but, yeah, it's a beautiful house, three-bed, three-bath. 1,700 square feet. It's located uh, right on, right on Lake Austin, very close. Yeah, right there. I can dream. <laughs> I'd love to come back to Austin sometime soon. Maybe in June. I'm considering going up to Brazil. Um, in June, they don't require a, a visa. So Rio de Janeiro. This place is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, I've always wanted to visit. It's supposed to be pretty dangerous too. But yeah, I'd love to go there and take photos for a while. One of my friends, uh, he's a, an amazing photographer in Austin, Texas. His name is Jared Tennant. Um, definitely look him up when you get a chance. He was in uh, Rio de Janeiro taking photos for a couple, about a month ago. He travels all over the world. Yeah, here's a photo. Really cool stuff. What else? What else? What else? Where is it? Ah, yeah. I like this one a lot. Unfortunately, I sold my drone because I needed the money um, in Chile and, you know, just got whatever I could for it. That money is gone now, <laughs> so I have to find other ways to survive. But anyway, yeah, I, I'm looking for investors to help with my uh, digital nomad startup. It's called Digital Nomad Ventures. And... I'll show you the website if it loads. The Wi-Fi here is not the best. I built the, the sales, it's called the sales funnel and click funnels. So if you haven't heard of click funnels yet, it's, uh, they, they have a cult following. It's this guy, Russell Brunson, who is like their, their cult leader and he's always selling this stuff. Ah. It's pretty stupid to be honest. But anyway, everyone rage, raves about it. So I built the website. It's not working now for some reason. I'm offering a, a free ebook and then selling a digital nomad training course. That's not working. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Ooh. Where do you guys want to go? Uh, do you have travel plans this year? And uh, where? let me know where you want to visit. I'm. This is definitely my next destination, Rio de Janeiro. What's this? Pixabay. This might be a good website to upload some of my photos. It's a stock photography website. Could be interesting. I have a, a Shutterstock page, but I'm not really making any money from it, unfortunately. Ah, there's way more, much more important things in life than money. Let me show you the hotel where I'm staying at now. 
I was just swimming in the pool earlier, and it was uh, they have a pool and a sauna. It's one of the the best luxury hotels in South America, best hotel in the Americas. It's won a whole bunch of awards. Condé Nast. But yeah, let's see if I can let's find a picture of the pool. Clear water outdoor pool with sun lounges. Yeah, this is the pool. Ah, so nice. It's a beautiful day here too in Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires, weather. Very nice. A 69. 69, dude. Buenos Aires, Friday. Hope everyone's having a great weekend or your weekend's just getting started. The weather looks beautiful here over the next week. It doesn't rain very much in Buenos Aires. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is a hotel where I'm staying. They already have some really, really nice photos. But thankfully, they work with uh, influencers pretty frequently. So, ah, here's the cat. <laughs> I was petting him earlier. He has a pretty awesome life. He gets to lay around all day in this beautiful hotel. They have a, a restaurant, too. Ooh, breakfast is included. Here's the, the restaurant. It's a really, really nice place. And they also have Thai massage, and my girlfriend is uh, um, studying occupational therapy, and she's also a professional masseuse. So I'm hoping she can get a job here. That would be awesome. Spa. Yeah, they have a spa with a home massage, hot stone massage. Oh, sounds great. Especially after a long day of work, you come back, relax. Treats, day spa. And they have all sorts of different rooms, too. This is the smallest one, 19 square meters. I think we're staying, we're staying in this, this exact hotel room right here, Superior City. It's very nice. I'm so lucky, I'm so fortunate to be living this type of lifestyle. I'm, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Not for the faint of heart though, because I don't have stability. So instead of having like a place where I can stay in a, an apartment or something or a house, I'm constantly moving around, which is kind of uh, chaotic. I, my girlfriend, not so much. She wants to find an apartment, which, it, I mean, the, the rent prices here are pretty affordable, but it's just not something I can afford right now because they require a guarantor or like two months rent up front. So that's why I'm staying at hotels for free. Um, but yeah, anyway, pretty awesome. So this one, you know, you just use the same extension. It pulls up all the email addresses. Um, this, this is just the generic email, and then usually they'll send it to the hotel manager. So like if I go here and search for home hotel, footage no follow up oh, I have to send an email to them too let's see ah here's the booking confirmation just to show you that I'm not lying about this sort of this stuff three nights um, Ezekiel huh. it's a very professional the friendly service uh, April 5th to April 8th So yeah, there's the email confirmation. I wanted to find, ah, here's the, this is the email thread. And, and most of you are probably not interested in this, but I find it interesting. See, they're copying the marketing department for their, to review your proposal. They will be contacting you tomorrow morning. 
but they list all their awards here. This is actually, um, I would like to work for Condé Nast and travel around the world. And uh, But here's my email script. It's real basic. I send the same email script. This is the gold right here. It's gold. And I've, you know, refined it over time, but my name is Mike Hope. I'm a professional photographer and travel influencer. I'm flying to Buenos Aires with my girlfriend, Hachina. I would love to discuss a complimentary three-night stay at Home Hotel. Um, so this part's just inserted. Uh, it inserts it for every hotel in exchange for my professional services. You can find me on Instagram at Mike Hope. These are what, this is what I offer in exchange for the, the three-night stay. Of course, I took this part out now because I don't have a drone anymore. Uh, more than welcome to use commercially for promotion of the hotel, social media posts, and live videos on Facebook and Instagram during the and after the visit. Professional blog posts dedicated to accommodation, including permanent links to your website, includes a positive review on trip. Here's my influencer stats 10,000 Instagram followers, blah, 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 social media. My professional media kit is here. Thank you for taking the time to read my proposal. I look forward to hearing from you soon. So that's it. And I've changed it a little bit, so it's even better now. But if they click and they see, this is my website, they see my um, professional media kit. This just says, talks more about me. Uh, here's some of the, the media outlets I've been featured in, blah, blah, blah. Media 